<laughs> Good afternoon, YouTube. It's me on the way to George Page, aka the Emperor of Female Bobbin Talk, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, folks, well, we had a dry week for bodybuilding, especially for women's bodybuilding, but we do have a show coming up, but it's not women's bodybuilding. We have a show that's in Texas, the Lone State, the Lone Star State. As you know, it's become a growing mecca for bodybuilding for the last uh, few years. Quite a few uh, women in sport in the bodybuilding live there. Some ladies I've known, and maybe I've done interviews with. But anyway, this show has been around for at least three years. Um, this is the upcoming uh, Texas Pro. It's uh, it's a pro am show, and it's probably one of the shows with I believe with one of the biggest paydays. For women's physique. I mean, you know, as you know, it's this this show is um, being promoted by Battle um, Production. But Sarah Vilgus, as you know, the former two time two time Miss Olympic Physique Champion, has stepped up. She has put up her own money for this show. Uh, at least I think originally it was. It's the total of of the whole prize money is um, fifty thousand. It's twenty three thousand dollars. Which Sarah put up fifteen thousand for first place, even a trophy, and she's done that for also for the Pittsburgh Pro. I mean, you know, as you know, as you remember why back Arnold pushed Wins Physique auto out of the um on the the classic and she wanted to put the money for that show, but you know, I don't know what's going on. I mean, if you it's about money, if she's willing to put it up. And I gotta respect that about Sarah Vegas. You know, like I said, I'm not a big, big fan of hers, but I respect what she her commitment and passion for bodybuilding. We need that. Especially when somebody can use this. We can really use someone like that. I wish we had someone who was like it, you know, because you know Sarah's marriage is a rich man, so we had someone who had deep pockets like <laughs> Sarah's husband, I think, you know, that would help out women's bodybuilding. So anyway, as I said again, this is a stacked show. I mean, I wanted to wait to see if there was any more competitors before I did this video. Sometimes you you miss somebody and you don't want to miss anybody. So you have at least 20 ladies at the show. And it's a it's a good list. Some ladies I recognize, some ladies I think are making their debut. And, you know, I mean, some women just competed about a couple of weeks ago at the Tampa Bay Pro. So depending on how they come in, the conditioning, this could be a good chance for, as you know, this is a show of Olympic qualification. And since women's league do have few more qualifications than women's bodybuilding, you know, they said opportunities, you know, there's a, uh, the Masters Olympia coming up um, next weekend, but still, you know, it's still a decent show. So anyway, we have here, like I said, 20 ladies. The first off we have here is one Miss Tracy Allen. I believe Miss Allen turned pro some time ago. Uh, and this is going to be, I mean, this is going to be her, her pro debut. You have another lady here, um, Miss um, Rachel um, Ars, uh, um, uh, Ronson, and she's been competing for a good while. She competed last time at the Atlantic Coast Show, which is in Fort Lauderdale. Then we have here one Miss uh, Cece uh, Barbara, and she's been competing, uh, competing for a good bit. I believe she turned pro at the USA a while back. Then we have here one Miss Sarah Bradley. She's from the UK, and this is going to be, I believe, her second show as a pro. She competed last year at the Legion Sports Fest. Impressive. I follow her on social media. She has a great physique. Maybe, I believe, she might have potential for women's bodybuilding. Oh, right, here we have here one Miss Linka Fanakova. You know, Linka has been at the show at least three times. The first time, she took second to Ashley Jones. And that was the year when she won the Tampa Bay Pro and got an Olympic qualification. And she has competed um, last year, didn't do as well, and this is going to be the third time. So she's possibly going to try to see if she can make an Olympic qualification at this show again. Here we have here one Miss Isabel Jackson. You know, Miss Jackson just competed at the Tampa Bay show uh uh, a couple of weeks ago, she was in one of the top five competitors. If she can bring in uh, conditioning, she did pretty good making top five, and she had competed almost three years since um, the Tampa Bay Pro. Um, if she can bring conditioning, there's a good chance she might be top three or even win this show. But it's all depending on how the other competitors come in. Next up, we have one Miss um, uh, and Andrea uh, Andrea. Um, Johnson, I believe that's the name is. I'm trying to sorry, Miss Johnson. I don't know much about her. Um, she's from Missouri City and she's in Texas. She's a local. Then we have here one Miss Donna Johnson Jones. Donna Jones, sorry. Um, there's two Miss. There's two Misses Donna Jones. I don't know which one is gonna be. Uh, we're just gonna wait and see. Next up, we have Alisa uh, Kissing. And you know, Lisa hadn't competed since the 2021 Olympia. You know, she won her uh, Olympic qualification at New York in 2021. Impressive one, great physique. You know, she called it the classical queen. Um, it's been a while since she last competed. I even did a comparison between her and Michaela because they both were competing physique about the same time. And, you know, she has impressive physique. She has maybe a tendency, I don't know, I see her maybe going to win the it all depending on how she feels or how she wants to go. Next up, we have one Mrs. Veronica La Rocha. 
Askins, if I got a name wrong, I am apologize. I believe she blast competed at the Omaha Pro uh, this year. Then we have one Miss Kristen Lay. As you know, Kristen's originally from Australia. She moved to the States. She lives in Florida right now. She competed at the Tampa Bay just a couple of weeks ago, and she's done some other shows. I believe she's done New York, and also I think she did St. Louis, uh, no Pittsburgh. So this is going to be her third or fourth show this year. And now that she lives in, in the here in the States, it's more opportunities for her, um, you know, and um, good chance for her to get a qualification. Too bad the point system's gone because she already stuck enough points you know, make it top five in a couple of shows and, you know, maybe could have got a, her into Olympia that way. But, you know, what's the best work for a question? We have here one Miss uh, Jordan uh, Link, uh, Linky Combe. You know, I, I sorry I got a name wrong. She's also another Texas local. She had competed from this picture since the 2021 Tampa Bay Pro. So we wish her best of luck. Next up, we have Alexis Lowry. Now, Miss Lowry, this is going to be her third show since she, I believe, made her pro debut. Uh, she competed at the New York Pro earlier this year, and she competed in Chicago like a month ago. Impressive young lady. She has a good aesthetics. You know, you know, she has a good career. You know, if she comes in in good condition and how she does against some of these more established um, pros. Next up, we have here one Miss Katie uh, Nyland. And I believe Miss Nylon has been a pro for a short time, at least a year or so. Next up we have here is Brooke uh, Penjin, Pen, uh, Ping Hin. Now, she turned pro last year, and she competed the show at Texas Pro last year, too. Um, impressive lady. I follow on social media. The good chance that, you know, she might make a top, you know, top five contender, depending on how she comes in, or she may even win the show. But this is some, we still have one person you know, that looks like they might be a contender for the show. Next up we have one Mrs. Christina Porter. Uh, as you know, Miss Christina, Miss Christina competed at the Tampa, but in women's bodybuilding. Now she's back in physique. Um, depending on how she's going to do, how she's placed, it's all up to her and all up to what the judges would want to see. Next up, we have the possible winner. And I feel like she's the possible winner. And that is one Miss Evie Rain. As you know, Evie, she took second to Jenny uh, Feldman at, at Tampa. Impressive physique. As you know, she's also going to be competing at the um, Masters Olympia next weekend. Um, I mean, between her, and G it was close between her and Jenny. It was really close. But if she if she comes in that same little condition she she bought at Tampa, she's gonna win the show. I I, I see. I, I'm unaware other, other than if um the other other any other competitor can come in better condition than her, it's it's gonna be tough. Evie's very impressive. I mean, she is. A, she's. I think she's the one to beat. Next up, we have here one Miss Miranda Sanderson's, uh, you know, Sanders, I'm sorry. Um, this is, I think she's competed last year also, and I think she's been a pro for a good bit. Uh, next up, we have one with Vicky uh, Tackett. Um, she's also from Texas. You know, there's a great number, a lot of local Texas competitors competing. She hasn't competed for a while now. I think this is going to be her pro debut. And last but not least, we have the lovely Mrs. Kathy Younger. I've been in contact with Ms. Younger. She's from Ohio. Yes, it's where um, my dear friends, Jada Beverly, Sean Stewart, at. suppressive lady, great physique. She, she has a great future. Um, she's a mother. She's a wife. I mean, she she competed at Tampa just um, a couple of weeks ago. I believe she was top 10 competitor at that show. She looked pretty good. But if she can bring in conditioning, she can put possibly top three, top five, or hell, she could surprise and be the dark horse to win the show. It happens. You know, the judges, they look for a particular something. And it just, you know, it's all up to what these competitors are going to bring. So anyway, so this is going to be a pro-am show. The, the, am, the amateur part is going to be on Saturday the 19th, but the pro part is going to be tomorrow the 18th. Uh, I believe they're going to have a live stream. It's going to be um, promoted by Battle Up P Productions. Um, I know... Um, I know the uh, one of the women that was part is um, the great um, Miss um, she uh, Sheila Brown because she's she's associated with this show. And I forgot the name of the guy who, who runs Battle Up, but I will say like this, and we shot if I if maybe I don't know. I know we just were going in no the direction, but if it was still like back in the day, like they were, I would have reached out to them and see to try to get women's bodybuilding on this show. Instead of going, there's quite a few female bodybuilders that live in Texas. Mila Ash lives in Texas. A lady who I was uh, in contact with before lives in Texas. Um, Mona Pesole, she moved to, te to Texas. I mean, Texas is a growing mecca for bodybuilding, especially for women's bodybuilding. And also, since it's closer to the to the West, there's a lot of competitors, like I said, again, who would love to do the show. I know uh, Wendy Sanchez, who lives in Colorado, would love to do the show because it's close to her. You know, it, it's like, I think, I mean, she told me, like, maybe a five, six-hour drive from Texas to Colorado for her. 
you know, and, and also uh, Andrew Sauer. She said she would love to do a show closer to, to the West. You know, so we should have to fly all the way to places like Vancouver or even New York to do a show. This would be a great show for, um, you know, um, Andrea, uh, Andrea, if she, you know, could do it. But like I said, your show is going to be tomorrow. Um, the main show, the 18th for the pros, 19th for the amateurs. Check it out. Watch the live stream. I will think about watching it, but like I said, it's about the end of the month for me. And, <laughs> and my budget getting ready, so I just got some work done in my car and I can't afford anything else. But like I said, check out these ladies. Support women's, women's physique. And maybe the future, you know, because maybe we might see women's bodybuilding um, come to Texas. They need the opportunity to deserve it. Anyway, this is your man on the way to page, a.k.a. the Emperor of Female Women Talk. Like, don't like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.